Hey there Seahawks, it's Miss Adams and in this video we're going to learn about sampling distributions, center, and variability. Alright, so an unbiased estimator is a statistic used to estimate a parameter is a unbiased estimator if the mean of the sampling distribution is equal to the value of the parameter being estimated. All right, so important, don't trust an estimate that comes from a biased sampling method. So if you only got your um, results from, um, by volunteers, like that's a biased sampling method. Or if you chose a convenient sample, so like the people that you're friends with, that's a biased sampling method. Um, examples of biased and unbiased estimators. There are six employees in a small company. Uh, here are their names. Astuco and Bernadette are female and the others are male. The dot plot displays the sampling distribution of the sample proportions of males. First, sample size n equals 4. First sample size of n equals 4. Um, is the sample proportion an unbiased estimator of the population proportion explained? So the mean of the sampling distribution is... I have 6 at 0.5, I have 8 at 0.75, and I have 1 at 1 out of 15 total dots. So that gives me uh, 0.6. Is the um, 0.6, is that in the center of like all of the points? So the proportion of males in the population is 0.6. Because the mean of the sampling distribution of the sample proportions is equal to the value it is trying to estimate, the sample proportion is an unbiased estimator of the population proportion. Okay. Sampling variability. So I have um, a sample sampling distribution when n equals 10, and then a sampling distribution when n equals 50. And you can kind of see um, when you increase the sample size, you decrease the variability, variability how spread out they are. Decreasing sampling variability. The sampling distribution of any statistic will have less variability when the sample size is larger. All right, center. Uh, so bias and variance. Bias means that our aim is off. That is, our sample values do not center on the population values. And high variability means our shots are widely scattered on the target, meaning repeated samples do not give very similar results. So there's more variation and difference between your results. And here's kind of a graphic using like a target. Um, sampling variability. A local auto parts store has re records on daily sales of hand in dollars over the last several years. Um, to estimate the average daily sales, the manager selects 10 days and finds the sample mean daily sales. Here is a simulated sampling distribution of X bar, the sample mean uh, daily sales of hand tools in dollars, for 1,000 samples of size n equals 10. So I took a sample of 10 uh, sales and I found the average and then I did that 1,000 times. What would happen to the sampling distribution of the sample mean if the sample size were n equals 30 instead of n equals 10? Justify your answer. So my sample size went up, which means my variability will go down. So the sampling distribution of the sample mean x bar will be less variable because the sample size is larger. How does this change in sample size affect the estimate? So the estimated mean daily sales of hand tools is more likely to be close to the true mean daily sales of hand tools. In other words, the estimate will be more precise. All right, so if I increase my sample size, I decrease the variability and I increase the precision. All right, go Seahawks.